Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna be checking out the new Marvel Superhero Illuminate Gallery Collection. Very special thanks to the folks over at Bluefin for sending along this cool assortment of new Marvel displayable figures. We're gonna take a look at these here today. So I got a whole collection of these here from collection one. I wanted to start by showing you guys the packaging here. Uh, you can see nice window box. We got Spider-Man inside the packaging here, uh, but pretty cool little collection of basically like a, a little gallery display, which is perfect for your desktop or your shelf. And as it's known as the Illuminate Gallery, it does feature LED lights so that these cool little bases light up, which is a really neat effect on on these particular little figures. So let's go ahead and get Spidey pulled out of the box here. And we can get a closer look at Spidey as well as all the rest of the Marvel heroes in this particular collection. So out of the packaging, this is what we've got. A really cool collection of several different Marvel superheroes, all of course based on their comic incarnations. And you can see each of them are housed in their own individual little acrylic displays, which is really cool. And sitting them all next to each other, it's a pretty nice, pretty sleek looking display. Uh, each of the bases is designed in a way where they're kind of angled. So when they sit up next to each other like this, they start to kind of curve outwards. And that way it's, it's a nice slight curve, but that way when it's all lined up together, you almost kind of like have this sort of half circle motion with all of these bases lined up together. It almost kind of looks like a Iron Man Hall of Armor, but in this case, it's like a Hall of Heroes. Well, and, and a villain. <laughs> so in this particular lineup, We've got Ultron, Captain America, Vision, Spider-Man, the Mighty Thor, and Iron Man. So they're really neat little displays. And let's go ahead and bring Spidey forward here. We'll bring in the tape measure so you can see exactly how high these stand right at seven inches tall and the bases are about three inches across. And like I said, they're really nice displays, great acrylic uh, cases over the top of the figures. Each of them has this nice little kind of metallic uh, label up here at the top, uh, which has the name of the character right there on it, just embossed on there, which is very, very cool. And it is worth noting that you can easily pop off these little acrylic cases to get a better look at the figure within. So each of the uh, statues within, the mini statues uh, are gonna stand around the four to five inch mark, depending on how, how tall the character is. Spidey is actually the shortest of the bunch here, but they're really nicely displayed. Now, uh, of course, these don't move, not articulated. They're basically tiny little statues. They're also not removable from these display bases. These are all fully attached, but you can see bright colors, very crisp, very clean looking design on here. Just really cool. And it's very easy to just kind of take that acrylic base and pop it right back over the uh, the base there of the figure and get them back in the display. So let's take a look at somebody like Iron Man here. Iron Man, of course, features those wonderful metallic colors, the great paint deco on there. You can see real nice details on these guys. These are very, very fun. Thor here is actually one of the bigger ones. He stands a little bit taller, plus he's got his arm outstretched upwards, or he's holding on to the mighty Mjolnir. Uh, very cool looking figure there. He does got that comic uh, look on his face. Uh, the paint has almost got like a little bit of a, a wash on there. It almost makes him look a little dirty. You can actually kind of see that on his chin and everything. That's actually just the paint on there. And I think it's on there to try to bring out the detail. But the rest of it does look really nice. I love the silver specifically that's used on the arms and the legs there. Really nice little touches. Vision has his left hand outstretched forward while his right arm is kind of gripping onto his cape there. Got those great greens and yellows straight out of the classic comic books with a little bit of metallic gold also used around the belt as well as a little emblem on his chest there. Captain America's got a very stern look on his face. He's posing with his shield kind of down in those really cool rocks. I like the way that they've got the rocks built up from his base so that his shield is kind of resting on it there. He still has kind of that uh, same dirty look to him. You can see it's like a wash on there. That makes him look a little dirty. I wish he was a little cleaner than that, so it's just a little dirty, but still nice bright colors uh, aside from that. You can see that really does help bring out all of the cool little textures of uh, almost like that scaly chainmail look of the upper portion of his outfit. And lastly, that brings us to Ultron, our one villain in this setup. 
Uh, this Ultron's got himself a nice bright red cape kind of hanging down in the back. You can see it's got that same kind of black wash kind of rubbed in there with the reds. Uh, but the front looks fantastic as well because it's got this great kind of uh, silverish color, this metallic look to him with a nice kind of bright orange scene on the eyes, the mouth, and there on the chest. Very cool and just a very neat evil looking character to add to this lineup that is mostly heroes. So this is where things get extra fun with these. You do have a spot on the bottom to place batteries and they do not come with batteries, but they take three triple A's. So if you get a bunch of batteries to get these guys all ready to go, you do have two different modes to light these guys up. If we go ahead and just put it all the way to the two real quick, I'll show you how that works. You can see how this nice blue light lights up and basically just illuminates all the way around the acrylics there. I don't know how well that really shows up uh, with my lights, but I'll try to get a nice uh, darker set piece for you so you can see how that looks. It's a really cool, very elegant looking display piece. Now, if you wanna try the alternate method, you can actually switch this to one. And I'm gonna do that on all of these guys here, just so I can show you how this is gonna function real quick. When you first flip it to the one, they will light up right away. But as they sit there for a little bit, you'll notice that they're all gonna power down. And you might have already noticed the uh, little piece in the front there that looks like a sensor that's right here on the front. That actually is a motion detector. So if you wanna like keep these guys turned on, say in your office or your toy room or anything like that, all of the lights will turn off, but then as you wave your hand in front of the sensor, as you walk in the room or anything like that, that's when these guys will all light up. And it's a really cool effect. They glow nice and bright. I think this is just a really fun, really neat looking display set. It's a fun way to get kind of some smaller little collectibles. Like I said, perfect for your desk. Uh, you could pick up your favorite Marvel heroes or if you wanna pick up multiples, they actually look really good when you line them all up together here like this. It makes for a pretty fun display, but it also works as a standalone thing. So if you just wanna have one of these guys on your desk, you could do that as well. So once again, I gotta give a very special thanks to the folks over at Bluefin for sending these guys along so we can get a good look at them outside of the packaging. Definitely pretty fun and worth checking out if you're looking for something cool and fun and new to display on your desktop or in your toy collection. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these guys. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my toy reviews. Until next time, my friends.